This is Tamara at MooglyBlog.com, and in this video, I'm going to be using Lion Brand's Hometown USA and a furls hook to demonstrate the Y stitch. And that's Y as in letter, not Y8, or not W-H-Y. I'm not asking why. I'm showing you how to make a stitch that looks like a Y. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see here, I have a small swatch where I've made a couple of Y stitches already. And you can see, if I put that, there we go, won't roll away. You can see the Y shape. We've got like there, and that's a Y, right? If you were to write a Y, that would be your Y. If you're working from the other direction, that's your Y. So this is not specifically a stitch pattern all over you do all over, but if you're making a lacy pattern, it might call for a Y stitch. Each Y stitch is a little bit different. I'm going to show you just a really standard way to work a Y stitch, but the number of chains in between the top two portions of the Y can change. The number of chains between the Ys will obviously change quite a bit depending on the pattern and the number of skipped stitches or chains in between. All that can depend on the specific pattern you're following. So I'm just going to show you the basics of the Y stitch today to help you with a pattern you might find it in later. So. Just to create a little bit of separation, I'm going to chain one between my Y stitches. This may or may not be part of the pattern you're following. So this is going to be a treble stitch Y stitch. So I'm gonna skip a few stitches. I found for this demo, skipping three works great. Again, it just depends on your pattern. So I'll yarn over twice as to make a treble crochet. Then I'll go into the stitch or hook that's indicated in the pattern, or the stitch or the chain I should say, not the hook, the stitch or the chain that's indicated in the pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my treble stitch just as I normally would. You'll see when I make trebles, I like to bring my non crocheting hand, my non hook hand up the post as I work. I find this creates just a little bit more even of a treble. Then to complete the Y stitch, there's always going to be at least one, maybe two, maybe three, it's up to the pattern. However many chains after the first treble before you make the second half of the Y there. So this is a regular treble, and then this is added afterwards after a number of chains. Here, I've got two chains. I found that that works nicely with the yarn and hook I'm using here. And now I'm going to yarn over once for a double crochet. Where I'm going to put this double crochet is what will create the Y. And what we wanna do is look really closely, let me put this down for a minute and even, we're gonna look really closely at that treble we just made. Now, when I pulled through two loops, we created this right here. It looks a little bit like a single crochet all by itself, right? Let me pull that up a little closer even, right there. Then, when I pulled through the next two loops, we got this section right here. You can see between my two fingers. Kind of looks like a single crochet. And then at the top, we've got the third portion. With our treble, remember we pull through two loops three times. Once, twice, three times to finish the stitch. What we're interested in is that second pull through the two loops. Specifically, we wanna look at this loop right here and this loop right here. Those are where we're going to be working in to finish our Y stitch. So let me put that loop right back on the hook. I'm going to yarn over once for a double crochet. Remember this was a treble, but I don't need another treble. I just need this arm right here. So I'm gonna yarn over once, then I'm going to go behind those two loops I showed you with my hook, right through the middle of the stitch. One and two like so. Then I'll yarn over, pull up my loop, and finish my double per usual. And you can see that made a new Y. Let's do that one more time together. And of course you can rewind and watch this video as many times as needed. So I'm going to yarn over twice, find the stitch that I'm supposed to go into in my pattern, finish a regular treble crochet. Now I wanna watch, I want you to watch what comes off the hook here. We've got one, see those two loops I was talking about? Pull through the next two. These are the two that you're going to be going into for the second half of that Y. If you have a lot of trouble reading your stitches, go ahead and put a stitch marker there. Then we're gonna pull through the last two and that finishes our treble. So we make however many chains, our individual stitch pattern calls for, yarn over one, find those two that we marked or those two that are right there in the middle. You just look for the middle, right there. Those are gonna be the two loops you want to go under. 
like so, and just make a regular double crochet right in there. And that is how you crochet the Y stitch. Why you would want to crochet it? Well, it just depends on the pattern you're making. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. Let us know what you think in the comments. And please do subscribe to the Moogly Blog channel. Thanks so much for watching.